like obviously I wouldn't start OnlyFans because of the, the same reason you would. But like for a hundred million at that point, what more do I need? Like I don't give a f y'all see my pussy ass goddamn inside my G spot. Y'all could y'all could I, can, I, 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 I would put a fucking no. I would put a microscope in my and pussy someone quote, and record. Always, no, then always someone I don't always give a your shit. Like remember when you did this? Pull yes, up. yes, yes. No. I have a you remember this and I'll stop a hundred million dollars at the camera. Hey, hey, hey y'all. It's your girl Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. Bottoms up, bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite young, hot, turnt host, Fanita. And I have a super exciting episode as I tend to do. I'm not gonna lie, I've been giving y'all bangers week after fucking week. Who is fucking with me? I'm the best new podcast host on the block. It's like crack in the 80s. <clears throat> anyway, today I have a very special guest. You may be familiar with his work. He's super funny, super sexy, and super fab. We have Mr. Denzel Dion. Oh my God, thank you. Ooh, yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, thank ooh, you, thank ooh, you, thank ooh, you, thank ooh, you. Thank you. I was waiting for that. Can you see how you introduce yourself? I yeah. said she just says we just have Denzel Dion is going to be a problem, but I love that. Thank yeah, you. no, no, no. I had to introduce you, and I want you to tell me about yourself growing up, and you grew up in New York, right? Mm -hmm. You're very New York. Why? It Everything about you, yo, Denzel is the bougiest person ever. Why? I'm not bougie. Look at your aura. Look at how you're sitting. You're sitting bougie. <laughs> you know. Bourgeois. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's crazy because people tell me that I don't think I'm bougie. I just This is how I've always been. Really? Yeah. Well, did always... you grow up in Harlem? I grew up in the Bronx. Yes. And you this bougie? Why do y'all think the Bronx is so crazy and so I, ghetto? One and of my know, friends, mm -hmm. res, he his residence is in the Bronx, and I've stayed in the Bronx, mm -hmm. and it was it was it was crazy. Yeah. I, no, okay, because me, like, growing up in the Bronx was fab. I'm originally from Queens. I just say the Bronx because mm -hmm. I moved to the Bronx when I was, like, eight. Mm -hmm. So, like, seven, eight. So, like, the Bronx raised me. Yeah. But um, I don't know. When you're living in the Bronx, it's not as crazy as you think it is. But I, I guess, like, you know, I've lived in L.A. for, like, mm -hmm. eight, almost going on nine years. So, going back, I mean, this shit is ghetto. Damn, you've been here forever. Girl, I moved when I was Wait, 17. Does, does that, how old are you? 25. I was like, I thought we were the same age. Yeah. That's... I moved when I was 17. That's insane. Yes, girl. I was given after the diploma. How was the transition from? How did you just start? Let's start. Let's start from how the beginning. I start? Okay, cute. So basically, okay. So I started social media really in 2020, 2012. Was you doing Vine? I, no, I was doing Instagram. Okay. In 2012, I was doing Instagram. I was getting popping on Instagram, but it was like comics mm -hmm. before there was videos on the platform. Yeah. Damn, I sound so old, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But this is before like- No doing, reels. Right, no, right, no reels. So this is before there was doing videos on the platform. So I used to do like funny, like meme pictures, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was cute. It was gaining me. It was fab. Like I had like, I would say like 2013, I had like 100K. That's a lot back in the day. Yeah, a lot. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard to get- It's hard. It's yeah. hard. But before it was like, you just made it to the popular page. Bitch, the popular page is like crack. Like, it was crazy. Like, once you got something on a popular page, like, you were that bitch. So I was just gaining, like, followers from just doing that. However, comment, this was, like, before, like, it was a business, before mm -hmm. it was everything. And, like, I had followers, but, like, I was, like, known in my school, but no one gives a f like, Yeah. No one cares mm -hmm. for who you are, like, in New York, or at least in my school. So it wasn't until I started Vine, like, in late... I started Vine, like, uh, late 2013, early 2014, I started Vine, mm -hmm. I would say. And um, that's what got me, like, known domestically all my mm -hmm. followers on instagram were from like serbia czechoslovakia yeah. be because the you was worldwide i was the girls love me in saudi arabia yeah. girl oof they love me <laughs> they let me tell you something <laughs> no it's because like the power page was so random but it was just like i don't know why i was just boosting my stuff to like, yeah. people like a croatia and stuff like that so i wasn't getting noticed mm -hmm. but vine is what got me noticed so like in 2014 i had came to la for the first time I was only like, well, I was like 16. Mm -hmm. I was like 16. And I only came here for a day. Did you come out here by yourself? Yes, of course. I'm that your, type of bitch. I didn't know nobody. Was, your parents, did you come out here by yourself? If it's my money, no one's telling me anything. Period. And that's just how I've lived my life. Like, Period. I told my mom I was going, and my mom was like, okay, then yeah. <laughs> okay, so I came here not knowing anyone. And I came here, I was supposed to come here for like two days, and I like missed my flight. Mm -hmm. And I stayed here for a day. Like like thirty like thirty six hours, mm -hmm. and after that, I was like, you know, I have to move here. Yeah. Because I've always wanted to come here. And then also to um I posted on Vine, mm -hmm. but I deleted the app because I had an Android at the time. Yeah. Because I didn't have enough space. Mm -hmm. Not knowing the video like went viral. So like I went to City Walk at the mm -hmm. time and they used to do like free concerts and stuff. Yeah. And I saw it was like I was just happy to be there because it was a tourist attraction. And then I saw Pia Mia. Do you know Pia Mia? Uh huh. Oh damn. Okay. Pia Mia used to be like popping. She's no, she, you know, she was like singer and stuff back mm -hmm. in the day. But I went to Pia Mia concert. Well, she was doing this free show. And then um there was, oh my God, that's the the boy from Vine. I'm like, bitch. Who? Right. Yeah. So that's how it happened. I said, oh, I said, when I get home, it's over. Yeah. And I just fled the feed and just carried on. And then 
with Vine. The YouTube. And then YouTube. I started taking YouTube seriously like in 2016, 2015, okay. 2016. And then, yeah, I've just been. So you graduated in 2016 too? I graduated in 2015. Okay, I graduated in 2016. Oh, oh yeah, we yeah. are. You're 25. But I'm like, had an August birthday. Uh, so I had a late I'm, birthday. I'm still 25. Okay. Oh my God, we're the same. When do you turn 26? December. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm definitely not going to be in the country. Where are you going? Else. I don't know. I wanted to go to Australia, but then I was like, <gasps> Why was I thinking about going to Australia in December too? That's the, that's the time to go. This is summer there. But then I also want to go to Ghana because Ghana is fab in mm -hmm. December. So I don't know where I want to go yet, but I usually do two trips in December. Nice. Yeah. He's got money. You know, so. He's wealthy. Uzi yeah, well. but that's just it was social media. So how, how did it? you get? Wait, how did you get your start on social media? Um, don't try to flip this. This is my no, shit. How don't did you get to... your start on social media? Uh, I like <laughs> you know what's you know what's hilarious about me is that I'm so unserious. But I used to joke with my friends all the time. Like when when I got to college, I was like, "Y'all, I'm gonna be an Instagram." But you went to college? Yeah, you graduated? No. Oh, okay. I was there long enough to graduate, but I didn't because I was bullshitting. Uh -huh. But I would joke with all my friends like, y'all, I'm going to be an Instagram baddie one day. Like, I'm going to like, for some reason, I just thought I was like that bitch. I mean, I am that bitch. Pretty but sure, like, right. I thought like I was like a model. Like, I mean, I am though. Like, you look at my face, I'm pretty as but what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. I was so delusional. I would always tell my friends, like, no, I'm going like, to get sponsored by Fashion Nova. I'm going to start selling flat tummy tea. Like, I was definitely going to be in, like, my IG baddie era. You are just, like, manifesting without, like, actually... Yeah, like, so, like, I remember I started, like, posting pictures. I would tag a brand, and, like, the brands would comment, like, F I'm that girl. I had, like, a thousand Instagram followers. Like, F like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm cunt as shit. Like, I remember when Fashion Nova told me happy birthday, I was, like, didn't have any followers. Like, you bitches just don't get it. Like, me and Fashion Nova are like that girl. But it started because um, my friends had TikTok, and I was like, I don't want to post on that shit. Like, I don't want to be on there. It was I, a joke at first. Nobody wanted to. It was a joke. To. And, like, nobody... And at the time, I think we were, like, 21, 22. And I was like, y'all, we're too old to be on there. Like, because I know I knew they were doing, like, that musically bullshit on That's there. That's what it was. It was musically before TikTok. Yeah, and I was like, I don't want to be on there. And they're like, Fanita, no, it's actually, like, super funny. Like, you'd find, like, a lot of things funny. And so, like, I have, like like FOMO and I felt left out and so I was like watching videos on there and I never was gonna make content like I've never been a person cause you know like, you started super super early I was like going to college working jobs like I was serving plates you know what I'm saying being a server like I was mm -hmm. getting out of the mud like I was never like into content I was just never a social media person, person. Mm -hmm. because I didn't have social media growing up like mm -hmm. I didn't get Facebook until for real? I Bitch, didn't get oh Facebook oh my god you yeah. didn't have a MySpace? no I never had Nothing? any of that none of that boring none of that boring as f I got Instagram and Snapchat I got Snapchat like sophomore year, and then of, I got of high school or college. High school. Oh, okay. And then I got I got Instagram like senior year, and then I got Twitter after I graduated high school, and then I got oh, you Facebook. Later. You started later. Everything. Yeah. So like I was never a social media person, but then like I started like they were like you should post on TikTok, and I was like nah, nah I don't want to. And, uh, people aren't gonna think I'm funny. Like, and then also like the thought of like putting yourself out there for like criticism and judgment from strangers was like terrifying at the time. But then they're like, at the time. Yeah. Which period. Yeah, exactly. At the time it was scary, but then they were like, Fanita, when have you ever given a fuck what somebody said about you? And I'm like, ah, oh, valid. So then I started posting my little content and people thought, and people thought I was cute and funny. So like, so I saw a video of you was just you stitching like a, a fine boy. And I said, this bitch is so mean. <laughs> it's so funny. And you hopped on at the right time. But it, yes. it's, it's weird now because now it's like, people want, to be an influencer or want to be in the space. And it's it's funny to see because like, I don't know, for me, I just did it because I was bored. Like a bitch yeah. always told me I was funny in class and I knew I was funny when like, I had teachers who like, they didn't hate me, but like they really just dis despised me so much. Yeah. But I, at the end of the day, like they still laughed. Yeah. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just post on social media. That's so, how yeah, it was yeah. like, I, cause like it was also during COVID. So I didn't have shit that else to do. Time. Yeah, I didn't have shit else to do. It was like during COVID, I was like, Open man. with TikTok. Yeah. Cause without COVID, I feel like TikTok would not be, we was all bored in the Boy, house. This we can't do shit on Instagram, Twitter. Okay, we're talking about it. There's no video for Yeah, us. what is everybody up to? Oh, what is up? No, 2020 TikTok, they, they ate. Yes, they that's when I did. like, like it was like the very end of 2020, my shit started blowing up. And then the beginning of 2021, I remember like sometime in March, I had been posting consistently, but this one weekend March, I went on like this insane run. I had like four videos all do like over a million or two million views. And then that's when I started getting like an influx of like mm -hmm. followers or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, like, because I remember when I first started posting TikToks and for the longest time, I never gained followers. Like I'd gain likes, but I just wouldn't gain followers. That's what happens when you're a black woman on social media. But anyways, oh, yeah. um, I remember like when I first started doing it, people would like make fun of me and like talk shit and like you know when you first start out doing the shit and like you're putting yourself out there, everybody has like a little slick shit to say. And then I it's, was gonna ask you that because you're from like a small town, right? So how? Was well, it I was in Birmingham at the time, so it's like, not small. Babe. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. I, mean, I, was, I was a local celebrity. It was, I mean, people would be like, that's like cute, or Fanita, I've seen your TikToks or okay, whatever. Cute, cute, cute. And then like, they would like, you know, that that's like 
funny? Like, do you like make money from like doing that? Like, are you How like? How do you people ask you that? I don't like that. Like, why right? do you worry? Why are you worry about my pockets? Right, right, right. The girls be pocket. You think I can live in LA with no money? Right. Yes. I mean, you can. Yes. Yeah, you can. But do you think I can live like this with no money? Right. Period. Yeah. <laughs> period. So then, uh, and then after that, like that whole year, twenty twenty one was my best year ever best on social year. media. Oh, twenty twenty one was a fab year. Yeah. For me. Yeah, it was fab. I got like a million followers and like. Eight nine months. That's good. And then I remember hitting. I remember having like five hundred thousand followers sometime in the summer, I think. And then I was like, "Y'all, I am moving to LA next next year. I will not be here next year." Uh, and so twenty twenty two came. My lease ended at the end of twenty twenty two of July, and I got the f- out. Fab, I love that. Come on, yeah. Chio. That's what I'm saying. I love that. That's so crazy that she wasn't really on any like no any social media. <laughs> I've always been on social media because like, I think I think if I would have started earlier, I could be like bigger. Obviously, if I'd been like hip to it, but I, I grew up in a really strict household. Mm-hmm. Like my stepmom was a raging fucking cunt, bro. Like literally just a bitch. Mm-hmm. So like I couldn't like I couldn't hang out with friends outside of school. I couldn't go out to my friend's house. Like she had a fucking time frame on when I could make phone calls on my cell phone. Like I could only make calls between like three thirty p.m. and like eight thirty p.m. I had to turn my phone in. So like my life was very like caged. Like, I was very caged and very controlled. Very sheltered, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I didn't have... That explains a lot. Yeah. You you, you know when those girls, like, the preacher's daughters, like... Yeah. They always raise check out. Once they have the house of freedom, bitch, the girls are out. Yes. The girls are like, you know, we just have two days, and those two days, the girls got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, make sense, fam. Okay, cute, cute, cute. No, no, no. That's literally how it was. As soon as I graduated high school, I went buck f- wild. I was... You know what I'm saying? I was in boys' cars. I was kissing. I was telling. Do you like, do you like a car situation? I mean, back in the day, back in my olden days, I was very much a, a car girly. Same. My car has so many secrets. If my car could talk, bitch. <laughs> if my car could talk. But my, not my car, though, because I used to have a... Uh, hopefully, we can like find a picture of it, but I used to have like, a Chevy Spark. It's like tiny as f- you know what that car is. You, you, okay, so I used to have a Chevy Spark, so not shit was going down in my car, but I was definitely a car girly. And then freshman year of college, I went buck wild. Like, I was... I was let your kids out of the house. You have to. You have to. And I feel like that's why I'm so good. I was, like you said, oh my mom, your mother let you go. My mom, I was raised by a single mother. My father, you know, he's here. You know, he comes, and he goes. Mm-hmm. But as far as raising, like my mom just let us do whatever we want to do, and I feel like it's more of a like we have Are so much African? respect. Yeah, I'm Ghanaian. And yeah. your mom didn't care. She cared, but like she would just let me because she was the same way. Like she left the house at a young age. Like it was, mm. she she gets it. Mm-hmm. But like I feel like because of that relationship. Like, I don't have to have to hide anything from my mom. I could talk to her about anything. It's not given like I had to be, like, no. Mm-hmm. I feel like she just let, like, me and my sister just be who we are. So, like, yeah. if, if, once, once you're like that, with your kids, we always tell our mom stuff. We kiki. And also, we always go back and be like, damn, she, when you get older, you know, like, your mother was not lying about a lot of stuff. Yeah. She's like, damn, she was right. I just didn't like her tone. And the yeah. way she said it. <laughs> However, comma, she ate. You yeah, know she what I'm ate that say? one little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no. I, I do it all, girl. Traveled. Whatever. What's your favorite place you've traveled? Um, Dominican Republic. <laughs> What? The DR? Yes. You if, mean we talk, like, if we're talking about like the ambiance and like the lifestyle, Dubai, of course. Because mm-hmm. Dubai... I, Dubai is very you. Dubai is me. You know why I like Dubai? Because like, I just like their culture. As I want to go to Dubai. Like, but I've also heard like... You have be- to go. You have to start going. What does you start hearing shit? No. Just go see for yourself. No, no, no. And the thing is like, I finally am starting to make a little bit more money. Mm-hmm. So like I can it's start traveling. A lot of people think it's expensive. Is it, is it not? No. I, is I it mean, the flight? It, the flight. Um, accommodation, not really. You, you need to know. There's a lot of ins and outs to travel. You don't have to be rich to travel. That's what the girls be doing. But the girls be trying to do so much with so little. Mm-hmm. Work within your means. Yeah. You can definitely go to Dubai. Mm-hmm. Once you're there, you meet a fine man, girl. Your card, you don't need to put nothing down. Okay? Also, I feel like just Dubai men would take care of me. They do. That's their love language. That's why I love Dubai. Did you get, like, any jewelry from Dubai? Like, gold? Um, no. Mm, why? I don't know. What's your most expensive purchase? Um, my car. What, what, do, what, what do you drive? A Range Rover. What year? I got it in 2017, so 2017. Okay. Very expensive. And I paid it all out. Did you, like, modify everything? Um, Black rims. I wrapped my car three times. Okay. Tinted windows. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I would never buy a car again. Don't you ever buy a car. I was so dumb. Um, you bought it outright? Yes. You bought it in full? Yes. Oh, yeah. You were a big banker. Um, it was, no. It was because I didn't have credit. My credit was shit. Yeah. And, grown, and growing up, too, like, especially, too, like, in the Bronx, like, don't get credit card. Don't, da, da, da. Knowing damn well, even to survive in America, bitch, you need credit they don't care how yeah. much money you make um and then also too i didn't want my father's name on it mm-hmm. and then also too i was like it's not gonna hurt anything for me at the moment yeah. so let me do it let me just have my first car mm-hmm. and it was good it was liber- i would never take it back like yeah. it, was, it was whatever but it was just a learning experience because like i want another car i want this car but it's yeah multiple cars you just have that one i just have one car okay nice i want to buy another car though but what? um 
Okay, so this is that's why my car was my dream car. Okay. It was always gonna be Range Rover, G Wagon, Rolls Royce. Yes. Okay. So did the Range Rover is out the way. I don't want a G Wagon anymore. Okay. I could get it. You but think I, it's played out? I don't think it's it's just not me anymore. Yeah. And I was gonna get that car originally first, but I was four hundred pounds and I could have fit in. The, mm. the G Wagons look good, but inside they're, they're it's small. Tiny, they're they're small. tiny. My car have like the big, big range. Like the Broncos are really small inside yeah, too. You see, they they look big on the outside, but they're inside tiny. they're tiny. Mm -hmm. So like my car has room inside. So I want a Maybach truck. Ooh. So sexy. You, see, you don't see that. That is Denzel. That's me down. But yes. I want to buy my house first. I can't just, I okay. can't have a Maybach truck. Where do you live right now? I live in like a you know, three bedroom condo. It's cute. Okay. Uh oh. You own it? No. Okay. I don't own. I don't, I don't own here. What part of LA? In LA. What part? Don't worry. Okay. It, it, it. People think it's bougie. It's not bougie. Never did a hop. Wait, I think I've seen a little bit of your apartment. Yeah, on your it's, TikTok. It's, yeah it's, 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 it's whatever. It's cool. Um, I don't want to buy. I'm not in a rush to buy. I've yeah. been looking at this house and I know I, I want it and mm -hmm. I could buy it, but I feel like that's just, I feel like when I buy, it's like, I can't live my life. The way yeah. I, want to. You, I don't, I, I feel like. Don't be in a rush to buy. I mean, unless you want to buy it for investing property, like uh, investing purposes. Yes, but when I buy my home, it has to be the home. And the yeah, home also, I feel like. I don't know if it's because like I'm just a diehard bachelorette, but something in me just never wants to buy a home. Like right. I want to get like a high rise. Bitch, me, <laughs> like, me. I, I, I want to. I'm on a high rise stage. Yes, I need. I, I need a doorman. I like, need I want a doorman. I, I need flood like, ceiling windows, panoramic. Want, yes. We're yes, literally the same. Exactly. That's, that's what I want. I want to be able to call somebody to like come fix my toilet. Come like. Right. I don't want to be handy manny. Really, like exactly. I don't. Exactly. That's where I'm at right now. I, I don't like. I don't know. My vibe just doesn't give homeowner. Like. Right. No, <laughs> bitch. No. Same. Because I was thinking. I was like, if I move right now, like I could get a house. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, a house is too stationary. Yes. Bitch, it's how permanent. about I don't like this? You know what I'm trying to say? It's permanent. It's permanent. But I love a high. Like next, I'm gonna move to a high rise. I just need that. Like mm. I need a high rise situation. I want a doorman. I want security. I want like, all of that. All the amenities. I want an indoor pool, pool. gym. Exactly. Um, sauna, like I want, exactly. like I mean, I just I want to get there. That's like my like two year goal or whatever to Absolutely. like be in a high rise. But like something about me, I, I just don't want to live in a house. I don't live in. And a then house also, like I live in L A. Like the odds of me ever owning a house in L A. is fucking cr never. I'm never gonna own a house here. You know what I'm saying? No, you can. it's expensive as. F it, oh, you see, every time someone says something's expensive, I don't see it's expensive because I think about where I'm from in New York. That too. It's different. But if I ever came from a place like where you came from, where I came from, like Houston, yeah. or I think, I'm like, okay, it's expensive. I mean, but I like, feel like me I'm, living here is way cheaper yeah. than I lived in New York. And I have two places here, bitch. Damn. You have two places? I do. Damn. Mm. That's fab. I know, hot. Huh? One's like The Bachelor, you know, slash work. And I'm yeah. like my home. I don't, okay. I don't bring like men to my home. Now, let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors today at Caraway. Have you guys ever gone to WebMD or worse, Google? The second you start feeling something wrong, maybe it's a headache and then suddenly you think you have a brain cancer. Um, let me stop you there. There's a better approach. Caraway is the all-in-one app to get the healthcare you need. The app is super easy to use and offers physical, mental, and reproductive healthcare. And you'll always talk to a real person, not a robot. With Caraway, you get unlimited 24-7 access to experienced care team of doctors, therapists, gynecologists, nurses, health advisors, and more. There are no long lines, no wait times, no surprise fees, or insane copays. With Caraway, your healthcare is integrated all in one place and you can hit up someone on your care team to get quick answers. Memberships start off at less than $25 a month. I repeat, less than $25 a month. And all the care you give from Caraway is covered by your membership fee, including therapy. Right now, Caraway is offering new members 30 days completely free if you go to caraway.health slash bottoms up. There's no credit card required to try it. Get free and unlimited access to chat with their care team for 30 days. That's C-A-R-A-W-A-Y dot health slash bottoms up for 30 days completely free. Caraway is available in select states. Go to caraway dot health slash bottoms up to learn more. Okay, so you bring me into the, the whole pad. Yeah, the whole what pad. Is, what does dating life look like for you? I'm What's not, dating I, right now? I'm not dating right now. Why not? Because I'm over it. It's a waste of time. You know what I'm trying to say? And, I, and I'm to the point now where like, I need someone like, I hate to talk about this, but like, I need someone who's on my level or above. Period. And, I, and I feel like I've always, I don't want to say I date down, but I've always, I've always dated for the person. Like, yeah. if I like you, I like you. I don't give a f what you do or whatever. But, like, sometimes I want to do shit that I don't want to feel bad that you can't. asking you to. Yeah. Or, like, if I pay for you, I don't mind paying. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't mind that. That's me down. Mm -hmm. I give, yeah, that, that, those are the vibes I give. However, comma, I don't want to pay for you knowing the reason why I'm paying for you is because you can't pay. Yes. That shit f up mentally. And then also, I feel like once you start getting into that stage, it's like, babes, 
pay for me. Like, let me know that you're still fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't. This is my it third time in a row. Right. Yeah, this is my third time in a row picking up the tab now. Hey, right. It's but, starting to give user. Right, but then right, but then me thinking back, I was like, you know what? Knowing where I came from, I'm like, it takes time for people to do it. I'm like, bitch, it's a 2023, bitch, get out the motherfucking mud. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then also like, I feel like there's so many ways to get to the bag now. Yeah, there is. Like, it's, still, it's still very much so hard. I get yeah. it. I don't mind someone who's working towards something. The thing is, is like, I don't, I'm not even, this ain't even like my man need to be a millionaire conversation. Oh, but, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be the ideal situation. Yeah, yeah, ideal. But like, for like right now, like, if he makes what I make or more, more. perf. But to be honest, it's not even what, for me personally, it's not, it's not about whoever is making because a man can make something but not giving you shit. Yep. I need someone to, that, who's generous. Yes. And, and that's that. what I think I want to because I feel like a lot of men just aren't generous. The, the, exactly. You have to be generous. Like I've been with people who were generous who didn't have shit. Yeah. Exactly. And I love that. And I know people like some of my that's friends. That's husband material. Yeah. I, and some people that I know that like don't have don't have it like that are still very generous. Like I'm a generous person. Like I don't care about a number. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right, like right, right. money to me is like that shit is like monetary. Like that shit comes and goes. Right, right. Don't exactly. give a about it. Like I care more about like the memories that we make together. Exactly. Same. And like the times that we have together is what mm -hmm. I care about. But when it comes to dating, like I don't know. I feel like I'm in my like cunt, like upper echelon bitch type era. As you should be. And I want a man that's gonna take care of me now. I feel like because we're both at the age. I'm sorry. Yeah. It needs to get that. It's not giving 50 50. Like, it's not. Yeah, but, no. It's not the giving 50 50. 50 50 conversations don't even have 50 to give. It's yes, not giving that. that and it, the thing is, I have way too much going for me now to ever think about doing 50 50. Yeah. To think about it, no. I just want me to be with a counterpart, a guy, whatever that. He matches me. Yeah. Period. Like I'm not doing the building anymore. I love. I love. I don't want to build. I don't want to build. I'm such a build a bitch type. I, I just love making people up. I yeah. love that. I love like someone coming to me like not done and me already doing them. I'm like wow. Like I like people. You I like a like, project. I love that. I really yeah. do. And, <laughs> you and, like you know projects. What? I do, and I don't do that for me. I maybe you should do like interior design or something instead mm. of like doing it with people. For, uh, maybe, I don't know. maybe like house flip. Right. right. <laughs> no, because Get a hobby. Design. But I don't do that for me. I do that for them. Yeah. I like to see. I like them to be happy. Like, damn, this is what I could be. I don't know. I like that, but I'm not doing that shit no more. I left that. Yeah. So no, I, I haven't dated really. Where do you meet people? People meet me. Mm hmm. But where they do meet me is just being out of... Most of the times, I don't want to be out. Mm -hmm. I love being home. But yeah. people like, damn, you always out because the bitch, this is how I meet people. Especially mm -hmm. what we do. Like, you have to be out. Especially when you want to be in the right rooms. You yeah, have to be exactly. out. exactly. And unless if I don't go out for a month or two, I'm like, damn, bitch, my phone stopped ringing. Once the girls don't see you, the girls stop inviting you. Yeah. So I'll just be out. Um, The best man I've met is overseas. Tell me about your Dubai. overseas lover. Uh, I don't have... You, you, a, had a, you had a lover in Dubai? I have something in Dubai, yes. Tell me about it. It's cute. It's fine. Not, no, nothing tell much. No, it. Um, I mean, well, I used to talk to somebody in Dubai like six years ago, but that's fine. But I'm talking to someone now that lives in Dubai, between Dubai and London, and it's not serious. It's fine. But I need, I need a, I need a man. Like, is he Arab? Man, yes. Ooh, you know, he look fine. good. Fine. It's fine. I need a yes. I need a man like in like 32, 33, 34. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess with the twenties. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't know. I still like my boys a little young. Yeah, I know. I like, I like. But the young boys ain't got no money. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no. You see, me personally, I can never date. I need to only date my age or above. I mm -hmm. could date like two years younger than me, but I could f with someone who's like two two years younger than me, three years. But mm -hmm. I can't be with anybody serious that's like yeah. 21, 22. What's your best dating experience? I could elaborate. Like your best date, your best date. My like best he, date. He swept you off your feet. You were ready to give the cookie up at the end of the night. I said, I mean, I was. Um, I never do that though. I, I don't I don't really have sexual intercourse with people that I like. It's weird. Wait, what? Like I don't do anything sexual. Like if I like somebody, I would not do anything sexual with you. So that means all the per all, all the people I've done sexual stuff with, I cannot give two shits about. Ooh. Oh, I'm right here first. He doesn't yeah. with you. No, I don't. Stop if, calling like, his if phone. I really do like you, we won't do anything for a very long time. Because mm -hmm. I just you know, how long, I was the long as you waited? A year and a half. <gasps> yes. It was it was amazing. I yeah, love Were y'all dating? No. It was like a situation. Okay. But I, it was a perfect situation. I was you believe in situationships? Um, I did. I don't anymore because I'm not going to sit here and do relationship shit if we're not in a relationship. Know, I love a situation if it works for the both of us. Yeah. But I'm not doing that shit anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, no. If that's the case, bitch, I'm like, I have like, so like, like you just gonna, are you just worrying about Denzel right now? Just like, yeah. I mean, I don't mind dating. I was like, damn, I haven't talked to no one, but like, it's very wishy washy. Mm -hmm. And also, too, I never talked to anyone in LA. Yeah. It's always, bitch, 
people they're all random. All that's why that's why I literally want to start traveling because I like I just feel like my man is overseas. Like my man is just like waiting for me at a coffee shop in Paris, waiting for me to blow in with the wind in my trench coat. I like I don't I feel like out there too they appreciate us more. I feel like there's not like the stigma. I feel like I don't know. I mean over here dating, I don't people here have this facade or they just act the same way. And also, too, a lot of people here don't like to approach, which is fine. Yeah. I, I don't, I'll approach when I'm drunk, and that's if you're really fine. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've approached like three times in my life. Mm -hmm. But if I approach you, like, if I approach you, I don't know, 10 times out of 10, I'm going to get it. Yeah. But like, if I really approach you, that means like, you have that energy that makes me when I approach mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? And LA, I just don't date here. What's I your type? I don't have one, but they always end up being 6'3, 6'4, 6'5. POC. Mm -hmm. I've dabbled in some Caucasian. Okay. Um, Fine, but yeah. I say fine. Like I usually do like a man with a beard. Yeah, I don't like a baby face. Me like too. I need some type of facial hair. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably got the same type, right? I don't. It doesn't need. You don't have to have a fit body. Just be fab. I'm yeah. not a person who's like you have to have a six pack. Like no, that's yeah. just weird. I love. So I, I love like a thick man sometimes. I was about to say I, you but gotta be too something to do something. You know exactly. Yeah. And I was talking to somebody and I was like, girl, you can't be my height and not be too something because yeah, just that's like work. that's I giving. Don't like, yeah, I don't like linking. But I'm not gonna lie, the skinny boys that are like six four, six five, that that what they eat be going straight to the dick. They, they be do. long as. They f do. They be long as. <laughs> f long <laughs> as shit. You're so annoying. No, that's <laughs> fine, but. Stuff like that, like I don't. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like the most nastiest bitch you ever meet, but like I don't do nasty stuff. What do you really. mean? Like. I don't be. Are you I, fake nasty? No, I'm real nasty, but like it needs to be. Like it needs to be a moment. Like I just don't. Yeah. Do, it needs to be a moment. Like yeah. it needs to be the moment. It needs to be the vibe. I'm not fast. Speaking like, of a vibe, I heard you're like you're a vibe. I am. Like I'm, your vibe fire. A real, a real vibe. Yeah, a real vibe. A your real vibe, vibe, vibe is fire. As f yeah, thank you. I appreciate vibe it. Vibe real lit. Yes. Tell me about how it was growing up in Harlem or wait Queens. People was getting, Queens Harlem. The Bronx. Bronx. <laughs> Girl, come on, bitch. Name all the boroughs. <laughs> Staten Queens, Island. Har Staten Island is not a borough. It is, but we is don't it? claim her. I was about to say, okay, we yeah. We don't claim her. I'm, I see, I'm a real New Yorker. Smoochie. You don't forgive you're from Alabama. Nobody ever thinks. People Are you used from to think, there, actually? Yes. Like, I was you, born and raised. You don't give that, though. Everybody used to think that I was born and I was from New York. You you give me Philly or you do give yeah. me like you do give me Houston. East, East yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alabama for Alabama. Me? Okay. Well growing, Were you like bullied or anything growing up? I was bullied, um I was bullied before I reached my growth spurt. So like before I started growing, bitch. Mm -hmm. I started growing, bitch. Ooh. So you was tall as when you were in middle school? Yeah, yeah, girl. Yes. I mean, bitch, I was tall as in tenth grade. In tenth grade I was like five seven. Okay. Uh no, I mean when I was ten years old, sorry. Oh what? Sorry, yeah. Five I'm five but, eight. Yeah, that's crazy. I was five seven. I was one hundred fifty six pounds. I would never forget that because I went to the hospital and I had to go get like my physicals for school mm -hmm. shit. He said one sixty one fifty six point five. He said this is not okay. <laughs> 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 I would never forget it. But um, no, growing up in Bronx was super fab, super chill. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, what what in particular do you want to know? Like, I don't know. But, to, but it, like, you grew up like, yeah, I grew up in the Bronx. Life was chill. It was me, my brother. My sister. Were there any like struggles with your weight at school or people talking about no, your weight? No, no. I mean, really? Because Bronx, Bronx people are, I mean, people from New York I, are like mean as People say that, but one thing about New York people, that's what I love, like no one's going to bully someone, like no one's going to bully someone that doesn't do shit back to them. Yeah. That's lame. They do that shit like Alabama, mm -hmm. North Carolina, like those type of places. They just be picking on bitches. I feel like in New York, like people call people, they're just like, you're a pussy for bullying someone who doesn't do anything to you. Yeah. So, yeah. So I never had that situation. I, I mean, love that vibe. Right. Um, I did get bullied like when I was like seven, eight by these kids who used to live in my building. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh my God, I don't want to call my brother, but if I call my brother, it's a situation. Yeah. But he used to bully me. They used to, when I was fat, they used to just call me gay. Because okay. I, because I used to play double dutch instead of play football with them. Okay. Wait, when did you come out to your mom? When did you come out in general? I don't, I never. I don't believe in that. You never came out? No. So it's just a thing that we all know. Like, yeah, you should know. And then also, I always said that too. Like, I remember being in high school. Like, I don't understand why like people that are gay have to come out. Like, we don't have to come out about being I've straight. Ne I've never right. I've yeah. never no. I've just always been mad. Do people do always think sometimes some sometimes people think I'm fake and sometimes people think I'm bisexual? Um, because I get hit on by girls more than guys now. You do look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I smash. And which I don't mind it. I used to live for girls. I don't live for them anymore. I will be like next year when I want to have my child. Okay. But you gonna have a baby next year? I want to so bad. I, I need to have my child by you'd 27. Be, you'd be a great dad. Thank you. But no one ever knows until they actually have a child. But I know for a fact I will. No, no, no. Because you're financially stable. I feel like that's the key ingredient. The to key is financial. There's a lot of rich, broken families. Yeah. I would say that, like, I mean, I feel like I'll be, I, I just need my kids before 30. I'm not, I'm not even trying to be that person. Like, I don't, obviously, I'm not like, I'm not feet, like, I'm not a girl. Like, mm -hmm. I don't live on a buyout 
biological clock. However, calm, I want to be close to my kids in age. Yeah. I always, I always used to see like parents pick up their kids from school. Mm-hmm. And bitch, why is your mom 52? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it no, was bro. Like, I my, be... my parents were dead in their 50s when I was like 18. Yeah, yeah. It's not like that for me. Yeah, and, and it's no shade. Like, I don't care. One but... of my friends' dad's like <laughs> damn near 60. Yeah. You see, like, my me and my mom, we 27 years apart. Mm-hmm. I love that. That's what I said by 27. I like, and I feel like I feel like I would like to be close in age with my kids, but it's like. I cannot have a kid right now. Of course. I can't have a kid now either. It, that's just a, it's given I have a kid if I have a house and then my mom stays in the guest house and she raises my child. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We both raise it together, but I definitely want like my child to like learn like my native lung, like yeah. my native tongue. I don't want it, I don't want my kid to be Americanized. Okay. And I definitely want my Would you get a surrogate? Mm, I feel like I don't know. A surrogate. Who would you have to have your baby? The natural way. You would get a girl pregnant? I have to. You would impregnate her? Yes. You'd put your dick inside of her. That's easy. I'll have your baby. Mm-mm. Come on. No, babe. Why? You're crazy. Look at my jeans. We'd have a beautiful black baby. Oh, I mean, also, too, I need a black baby. I'm not one of those girls who, I'm not into that, like, the interracial situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, because, like, I, I have a girl that was talking, like, actually, like, you know, it's like, she's into me about being yeah. a woman. We could definitely do it, but, like, she's not, like, black. Are you, and, like, are you bi? No. But you you'd fully you fully I can, fuck. but I'm I'm not no, yeah, no. Okay, so you could do it, but you I just I could not. do it, but I'm just not, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, if that makes any sense. Okay. But So you say you have a girl that you flirt with? Yeah, that we talk we we don't flirt. She flirts with me, I don't flirt back, I let her know. However, comma, if there was ever a situation, if I ever needed to put her in for something, like a threesome situation, oh phone call away. She's into it, she's down. So you'd have a threesome with her? Yeah. And another boy. I mean, yeah. You've had a threesome, right? I have, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell me about that. No, it wasn't really even more so a threesome. It was just more so, you know, I was. it wasn't a threesome. It was a menage and trois, but it wasn't really a threesome. Okay, so I'm seeing here, they told Zendel to pull over the car and then meet him in the back. Then Zell ended it That's there and said the rest is history. The rest is history. No, I want to hear about the history, though. There's no history. So basically, <laughs> I, I, was history. Li- so like, basically I was literally driving and I was driving. Okay, like it a, was a girl and a boy. It was a girl and a boy. I was driving. Um, was so messy because the boy... In the back, and he dad had a girlfriend, so I didn't think they would do anything. Men ain't shit, right? Okay. So and the like, girl was also in the back. The girl was also in the back, but he said it was his friend. But I didn't think too much of it because he has a girl back home. He's not yeah. from here. Okay. So I'm driving. My car is tinted. My I'm blasting music. Y'all in my, the range? Yes. Okay. I'm and just then, trying to set the scene. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Black Range Rover, Matt, whatever, everybody, me, got a boom. Everything is tinted. Uh, tinted. Five percent. Black down. Okay. Bitch, I've been doing stuff in the daytime. Nobody can see me. Yeah. So that type of shit. So we're driving, driving, driving. I'm blasting music. I don't hear nothing, but I start to smell something. Oh. So then I'm like driving and I'm like, I turn around, the girls are getting freaky. And I'm like, But oh, what did you turn around and see? What what I turned around and see? I, I I just saw her basically like giving him head, right? Okay. And that's it. Then his dick was stinking? Huh? He said you smell something. What was I don't I think he I low key think he fingered her before. Mm. It 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 gave like was it, it fishy? Yeah. Okay. I knew when I smelled something like it didn't gave it came from him. <laughs> yeah. It gave it came from her. Yeah. So I turned around. I was like, oh my god! I kept driving. Like, okay, cool. Do what I got to do. I definitely have to You're get my car. You're such a team player. I've done that too, though. Yeah, but like, I'm not gonna like stop. Why? Are you, yeah. Girl, y'all already do what the fuck I did. The damage is already done. But also, how insane do you have to be to start sucking somebody's dick while you're like in somebody else's car though? That's rude as. Have, have no shame. No shame. No, no respect, class. No class. No, no decorum. I've done that though. So you turn around, she's giving head. Okay, period. So turn around and I'm just giving head and then I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm driving like two, three minutes after, like he tells me to pull over. I'm like, what's up? He told me to get in the back. And okay. then, yeah. He told you to get in the back. He told me to get in the back. And then what? We just all started having a time. Okay. Uh, as far as like fing, fing out, I don't, no, I don't, I don't have that many bodies. Do really? You? Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You don't? It's none of your business. Okay, fab. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have a lot of bodies. I feel like sex is so intimate. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a hoe, so I mean, it depends on what you, th- what you call is a lot. What do you think? Is, what do you think is a lot of bodies? I don't think it's a lot of bodies because it's not my body, so I don't give a. F- you can yeah. f- three hundred thousand people. I don't care. I don't. Would I'm you just, date somebody that f- three hundred thousand people? I don't know if they were clean, like if they were STD free. I, I don't. I'm not. The, if you what do if, stuff what before if, me, what if? Okay, like what if you? F- somebody, let's what's, okay. Let's say you're dating somebody that has three hundred thousand bodies. Mm-hmm. You're in a room. You're out. You're in public. And you go to like beaches or like one of the gay bars. I don't go to those. But... Okay, whatever. There's like four hundred people in that like club that's f- your man, and they're all like, "Oh my god!" Like coming up to your man, like, "Oh my god!" That shit that we had, like, and then like several men have talking to your man about how they f- him, and like everybody knows that, like, oh, you see, like Denzel's dating him. Like we all f- him. Like would that make you feel some type of way? Um, I'm. If you f- three hundred thousand, if you f- four hundred people, that's fine. But I don't do community. If it's given within the community, we're not talking. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Before it. 
like before we start talking, I don't care what you've done before. Mm-hmm. As long as I was somebody that I, like someone that's close to me, I don't care. I'm not that. I'm not. I'm really not worried about that. Have you and Ricky ever hooked up with the same people? No. Oh, the same people. Uh-huh. Oh. I know you and Ricky have never hooked up. Come on. Oh, okay. but people be thinking that. I was what? Saying, well, I've had I've had boys I've talked to like that, what's up with that's you, never that never gives. Okay. It never You're one gave. of the smart ones. It never have gave. me hooked up with the same people? No, we have not. That's just what's so the worst fight you and Ricky have ever gotten in? Oh, uh, we got to little t- tits and tats. Um, the worst. I mean, we didn't talk for three months, but that, yeah, that was in 2020. Is Ricky your closest friend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When did y'all meet? 2014 in June. Mm-hmm. So the that's rest beautiful. Is yes, that's my girl. I like, like, yeah, I live for Ricky. Ricky's we all live for Ricky. Yeah, of course. Ricky's that, like, that's my Ricky bitch. Ricky is that bitch. Yeah, I, I love, love Ricky. Mm-hmm. Now, let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors today at HelloFresh. Are you guys ready to kickstart a healthy and delicious fall routine, but you have no idea where to start? When it comes to putting together fresh, convenient, and fun recipes on a budget, HelloFresh has your back. With a mean that includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, family-style dinners, and endless snack options, you'll never have to make another trip to the grocery store again. And with my health journey, I'm so excited to use HelloFresh to put together well-thought-out meals and even host dinner parties without all the stress of shopping and thinking of meals from scratch. HelloFresh is also more than just dinners. You can also stock your fridge with easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and snacks to grab when you're on the move. Also, you know coven season is right around the corner, so get ready to impress your hot date with a three-course meal that includes you from the HelloFresh market. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Fanita and use code 50Fanita for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50Fanita with code 50Fanita for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. Come find out why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Okay, Denzel. Yes. So you have a lot of ventures because Denzel is very rich and he's better than us. You're so tell funny. Me about your, tell me about your fashion line. And I said fashion, not clothing, because it's a gift fashion. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Noid. I started Noid in 2020. I've been designing since like 2018, Have you always wanted to be big in the fashion world? No. I've always wanted to just be acting. I've always knew I had a voice in fashion, but I never wanted to do it myself because mm-hmm. it was just so much at the time. It's still much now, but I'm just saying like it was just... And also too, I didn't like, mind you, like... I didn't go to school for it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know where to start. Yeah. The situation like that. And then also, too, like, that's why I used to make outfit reviews because I knew for a fact I was going to come with my own mm-hmm. shit. I and, remember you started the uh, camel toe boot thing. The, the oh, split it, boot. It, it, it been a thing. But remember when I was wearing that shit like in 2018? Everybody was talking shit. That, but that, it's just a recurring process. It's just like yes. people talk I remember shit. I, when I followed you on, because uh, I followed you on Instagram for like the longest. Mm-hmm. Uh... But I remember you used to wear like the camel, the split toe boots, and everybody would be like, "Those are f- ugly, those, yeah. those, those hooves." Those hooves. yes, but you used to wear those boots down. Do you see the girls doing them now? Yep, the girls love a tabby situation. But um, no, you've seen like, the vision before. But that's just how I know. You know, what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. I'm not. Even, it's not even to toot my own horn, but the facts and the stamps are there. Yeah. So like even, but I knew for a fact that when I came out of my clothing line, people would like obviously react the way they did. But the girls were going crazy on TikTok. I my. Clone I received so much backlash, but it was so fab. Mm-hmm. I knew that I wanted to make clothing, but I knew for a fact, being of my background, the clothes I wanted to make would not resonate with my audience. Yeah. Which, to be honest, and it's just not even like being like, hey, for whatever. I don't. It's not that I don't give a fuck about my audience, but like, it was because it was expensive, right? People said it was expensive. People said it was slave clothing. People said like I thought I was Kanye West. All for them to be wearing the same shit three years later, girl. Yep. So like, and then like, it's just you know, it's whatever. People said it's expensive, but me personally, I wanted to do my shit way cheaper. And then when I was doing it, and then my production manager at the time was like excuse me, do you know how much money you spend? Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, well, it's too much. Like, And I was thinking about me growing up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bitch, I'm never spending that at all. But then I'm like, this is, I'm going into a fashion but space. Then, it's not going to like merch. Exactly. It's, it's not is, merch. I source all my fabrics here in Los Angeles. I'm doing my shitty ships are hand sewn. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot that goes into it that people don't know and I don't expect them to know. Yeah. So now like, I'm never arguing with a bitch better price. Yeah. I'm not doing that because. And then I, it's also like, you're putting your own, like, I, I feel like people forget that when you're starting a business and like having a fashion line is a fucking business and you're putting in so much money. The the goal is to make money back. You know what I'm saying? I can't sell the shit for a nickel and a dime. I'm exactly. so sorry. And then also too, like I'm trying to hit a specific clientele. Like the people like me, like when I started getting money, I started wearing, like I've always wore brands, but when I started like, but my mom used to buy my brands mm-hmm. like when I was growing up. But that's how I got into stuff. But like started buying my own brands. You see me wearing like $2,000 pair of shoes. You see me buying a $1,000 bag or a $30,000 bag. Bitch, I'm going to cater to the bitches like me. Yeah. Who wear the shit that I wear. Mm-hmm. And and that's totally fine. It's not for everybody. But then also to the people who complain, there wasn't going to buy in the first place. Yeah. How's, how's business? Something. Business is booming. Business is, business is fab. I love it. Like everything is on my own, which is 
very hard to say these days that my brand is independent. Mm -hmm. And it's chill. It's fab. It's slow paced right now because I don't really have a big ass team, but the right girls are looking. The Do you want to, are you, are you trying to like hire more? Is it like a high volume right now? It's, no, it's not that most I want to hire more. It's just like, it's not, it's just most I need to like, I need the core people in my group. I only have like two, three making shit happen, mm -hmm. which is fine. But I don't feel like me personally, I'm at the stage where I need like my team of 10, my team of 15 that I could equally pay. Because mm -hmm. I also too, I'm still funding my business. Yeah. I still, I don't, it's not, I don't have any loans or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's a very expensive situation, girl. Especially trying to make high-end clothes. You really girl. are that girl. Girl, girl, thank you. You too. Okay. Let's talk about our health journey. Oh, fab. What made you decide to be like, I don't want to be fat anymore? Um, I've always never wanted to be fat, but I never had a problem being fat. Like, me being 400 pounds. I believe pounds, that's how I was, too. Bitch, me being 400 pounds, I was the most, like, confident bitch you could ever see. And I feel like I got more men when I was bigger. But, um, yeah, it was just like, I just didn't want to be... I didn't have a problem being big. I had a problem with society making me feel like I was big. Bitch, I could have fit into roller coasters. I could have wear the fab shit that I wanted to wear. Mm -hmm. I hate when I got a bitch. It took me an extra breath. It was mm -hmm. one time I was recording myself, and I'm like, why does it sound like I'm sleeping? Yeah. Bitch, it was my breathing. Yeah. I just had to be like, you know what? But I always said if I got too big, then I'll get a surgery. Mm -hmm. Or my brother's literally been a personal trainer like his whole life. Like he mm -hmm. always tried to help me, but it was one thing that he told me that stuck in my head. He said, like, I can't help you if you can't want to, like, if you don't want to help yourself. Yeah. Like we would try to train at home and he was like, okay, you're giving up. So I'm giving up. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? So it got to the point where it just a flip that switched in my head. And I was like, bitch, I just need to be. Was skinnier. it hard? Um, no, I don't think it was hard. It's just more so being consistent, being disciplined. But once you make it a routine, then yeah, for a lot of people, I guess everyone has their heart. It's just pick your heart, bitch. Do you want to be a fat bitch or do you want to be a fit bitch? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Healthy. Because yeah. I was fat, but I was very healthy. I never mm -hmm. had, like, never had high cholesterol. I never had diabetes. Me, that's, I see, that's how it was for me. Like, I was, I was fat, but I never had any, like, medical problems. Yeah, I never had any medical, which is fine. Because there's a lot of, like, thin people who look pretty on the outside, but inside, bitch, they're battling demons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's never like that for me. It was just more so for me. And it's just been a journey. It is a journey it just yeah. doesn't happen quick and stuff but um yeah no and then also to being on social media too i remember i used to get comments like oh my god how does this kid have so many followers like look at the way he looks i'm like oof bitch the f yeah what? the girls used to come for me down so um no i was fab then and i'm even fabber now but my journey was cool and it was it was it was chill do you I think never... people started treating you different if you lost weight people treat me the same I guess people would say, oh my God. But but then again, in society, why are you so mind blown that bitch you lost 200 pounds and now people are treating you nice? Bitch, it happens. It's the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like For a sure. lot of people be like, oh my gosh, I hate this. And it's just so sad. It's sad, but bitch, it's life, girl. Yeah. Like it is what it is. People just like skinnier people. That's just what society. And, and that's, that's just, just what it is. It's just what, I just learned to deal with it. Like, yeah, yeah now people, I mean, People around me still act the same, but I definitely do go out like, whoa, you look so good. Or like, I mean, the people who've been... Who've been I just don't like the OD shit. Because I remember like during my birthday, I had to like address my followers because they were just like being OD about like me being unrecognizable. And it's like, okay, like, not too f***ing much. You didn't um, like that? No. It's so crazy. The girl's only like three months into their journey. Already changing. So I fab. Know. I know. The thing with me, I didn't grow up fat. Uh, but I was like fat mentally because of my stepmom. Does, let me say something. It's not about being fat outside. It's being fat mentally. Let's talk about that. I was about to say yeah. that. Bitch, being <laughs> fat mentally <laughs> is wild. It's worse than I, actually I, being it, fat. It's, it's worse. Because, <laughs> yes. bitch, I always say that because it's the, it's always the brain and the mental, bitch. Yes. If you're fat mentally, woo, child. So yeah, God help it, you. Like, even, like, even now, like, I'll look at myself in the mirror. And it's literally like, like one of those things in a movie where like I'm just like seeing my pat. Like, I'm having like really bad like body dysmorphia now. And like I feel like... I'm I'm probably gonna like be fat mentally for a very, very, very long time. I'm still but so fat like, mentally. Yeah. So like I feel like every because like the way you just get treated when you're fat, like it's fucks up your brain. But for me, it's like what you said, like I went to go uh one like like I wanted to I wanted to get the I had gastric bypass. I wanted to get gastric bypass before I even like left Alabama because I already knew what I was coming to when I was coming to LA. First of all, being fat in LA is honestly made me want to like self-harm a little bit. Like <laughs> I hated it. Bitch, so, every time everybody's so perfect, everybody's so crazy. It's everybody's weird. so skinny, like and white. Um, right. So like I like stood out so much and didn't stand out in a good way. I mean, I'm, mm. I'm a, still a bad bitch. Like I was a bad bitch, fat. Like I was still putting this shit no, on. No, fine. Like so, I didn't really give a. F but like before, I remember I uh, came here when I visited LA. Before I moved here, I wanted to ride a jet ski, and then they were like, "Ah, oh, y'all should get a boat." And I said, "Hmm." I said, yeah, it's about that time. Or when I would like go on the plane. It's little things. It's the plane. Bitch, I hate the, after the, the seatbelt seat extended. Bitch, it was the seatbelt extended. Is that what I you? I'm really a big bitch. Can, so like the last, in the like within the last year of me like traveling, mm -hmm. I did not wear a seatbelt because I was too embarrassed to ask for a seatbelt extender. Oh, I've done that too, girl. <laughs> bitch, it was one time that my seat, I could not fit in the seat. So I literally, this is me going to London. This is like in 2015. 
And bitch, the, the, the bitch in front of me had her seat back. And this is before I started knowing about first class and stuff. And she was on my kneecaps. Mm -hmm. That first hour was so excruciating for me. This is from New York to London. Bro. I kid you not. I definitely sat in the toilet for five hours. He, really? Like, I sat in the bathroom. I had to. i not kidding. Like, it was given in and out. I'll get up. I'll move. Da, da, da. Bitch, it was so... My hips? It was, this was like the old British Airways um, mm -hmm. seats. So, like, it's not like a seat where um, the handles are, like, movable. It's like the metal ones. Oh, no. So that shit was, like, shaping it, my waist. I was about to say, was bitch, that in, like, your yes. ribs? Yes. Oh, my God, bitch. I couldn't do it. But, yeah, it was, like, little shit that was happening. Or, like, i go up the stairs, be out of breath, like, go on the God. beach. I couldn't walk on the beach without being tired as f like taking me forever to find it's a, a little thing. It's the, it was, and then the seatbelt thing was the big thing. No, actually, for a seatbelt extender, he was it's, like, You need a seatbelt extender? Bitch. No, no, no. You need a seatbelt? I'll get it. No, no, no. How big How big are you? How big is your waist? How big is your no. waist? Like, they make it a huge deal. I used deal. to get up and walk away. Can I get a seatbelt extender? Yeah, I literally, <laughs> I I would literally get on the plane. plane but, hey, seatbelt extender. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, or even two, like, even sitting on the plane and when you see someone come sit next to you, bitch, and they're just like, oh. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> or like, and then I remember uh, the flight attendant would like hand me the seatbelt extender like a fucking bag of coke. Like right, right, trying to be discreet as <laughs> I left for those because they know. No, it's definitely a struggle. Yes. Because even going like, like now I mean, like I can fit in. I love fitting in. It's so fab. Like I just <laughs> like, love Like I on the plane, I said, oh, I but know. Bitch, it's me like tightening it, having yes, extra Yes, I room. had that tight. Oh my god, not in buckling. And no, it's crazy because like it's the way it's not like it's really how society like treats fat people. Yes. And I'm like, that shit is wild, but damn near if anybody wants to lose weight, they could. Yeah. I'm not saying like working out, but a bitch could get their body done or do mm -hmm. this out of me. Like, I feel like that's the least of everybody's worries. But you definitely do get treated different when you're big. And then also for me, it was just more so like fashion lifestyle. I'm like, also too, I'm 18, 400 pounds. I definitely want to be fit. I want to be yeah. fat. I want to fit into stuff. Also, too, like I wanted to get in fashion. Like when I started getting into fashion weeks. They'll start sending me to go get fittings. Y'all know mm -hmm. damn well none of this shit fits me. And it just makes you feel so awful. Yes, that's how I like, felt when bitch. I moved to LA and I would go to like gifting suites and they would like just try to send me clothes or like, oh, we want Fanita to wear this outfit from this company. And then I go on the website, y'all don't even sell my size. Right. And then like, cause I want to, I want to start getting to like my little fashionista bag, but mm -hmm. like, they only make certain types of clothes when you're fat. Like you can't get like the cunt sexy it gives, shit. It gives maternity. Yeah, it gives maternity. It gives Lane Bryant, unfortunately. <laughs> shout Stewart. out to my Lane Bryant yes, girls. Lane Bryant bitch. <laughs> like, yes, I live for Lane yeah, Bryant. Yeah, shout out to Lane Bryant yeah. bitches. But like, I want to give like sexy like you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But that's why low key like I don't. People say oh. Fast fashion, like me you being can't, a fast, I can't. Me being a fashion designer, like yes, like it'd be especially when you rip off other people's designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, when you think about it and just like thinking about people who like they be going up to size seven X's, eight X's, they're not fat phobic. They make sure that shit fits in you. Like yeah. even their smalls be up to like yeah. two X, three X. Exactly. So yeah, but being fat is just. I mean, for me personally, it wasn't me. I didn't. I was. I would say that like people are like oh. Girl, I did not like being fat. Like, I had no problem being fat, but I didn't, I didn't like how I was I feel like that's how I've always felt, too, because I remember, like, once I started losing weight, everybody's like, well, I thought you, like, promoted, like, obesity. What? And then people also... No. And, huh? I was just fat. Like, do, that was just it. Do people feel like you You think you're getting better because you're getting skinnier? Like, you think you're better than people? No. Okay, when I was, like, losing weight, I remember people was like, oh, I'm not going to watch you anymore. You're losing weight. You're not going to be funny. I'm like, bitch, now you're thinking I'm funny I'm not, I did get, like, I did get, like, a... I have got, like, a couple strange DMs about, like, me losing weight. Like, Fanita, like... If you're not fat, what am I gonna do? What the f does that have to do with me? Bitches like to have no brains. Yeah, or like even, no self worth. Like, no what does me being fat have to do with you? A, that's a social media period. I hate when someone, I hate people who look up to people for that. Like, oh my God, her body is so perfect. It's, bitch, then get a fing perfect body. Stop being on social media. Yeah. I'm not, I'm so sorry. Like, people are like, oh my God, she's promoting this, promoting that. She's not promoting shit, bitch. She's doing her. Yeah. If you wanna sit here and face tune your pics, bitch, face tune your pics. So, matter of fact, go make the body you face tune reality. Yeah. Don't, I, people looking up, stop just, looking up to people to Yeah, have and then also, it's like, stuff. if I die today, how are you gonna feel about your body? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, my body, the way my body looks, should not have girl, any effect on what your body looks the girls like. Girls be brainwashed. They be brainwashed as f and like can't just like be themselves. themselves. And what that tells me is, you don't feel good fat. Because if me not being fat somehow affects your confidence as a fat person, then you don't like being fat. Yeah. Is what that tells me. And that's totally fine. But you need to know is, that that's totally for fine. For me, it's like, I guess like from social media, well, for one, it's like I never liked being fat. Like, But what, what, what people weren't going to do is make me feel like I was less of a human, less of a bad bitch because I was fat. fat right, that's right. the difference. Like, I always wanted to lose weight. I always wanted to get like smaller or whatever. But... I when I was fat, I wasn't gonna let people treat me like shit because I was fat. Right, like right, I was still gonna right. let you bitches know that I was that bitch. bitch period. I was still talented. People love that though. Yeah, they love that. So like 
me, me, like getting this weight loss surgery has been in like the works for like a year and a half, like almost like two years. I mean, yeah, yeah, I like how you talked about it because you yeah. could have been one of those bitches who didn't talk. Then, about Didn't say shit to you, bitches. You low key should have. I like it. Should it should have gave a silent situation. <laughs> Just been supposed to in the gym, <laughs> doing a little situation. I up. felt like I don't know. Like, I just I'm transparent. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I like. But bitch, uh, I'm like because like some people told me like not to say anything about because like obviously my friends knew and like my other like influencer friends knew I was doing it or whatever. And then some of them were like, "Don't tell nobody." And I was like, "I feel like it's actually good I'm, that you're telling people." But also, see how quickly I'm losing weight. People have thought I was getting my nose dirty. Like they'd have been thought I was people hitting always the say, slopes. People say that coke makes you lose weight. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I've never done I know it. a lot of big bitches who do it. They still big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably just for pleasure. But like, right. I don't know. I feel like people would have just been like, she's doing something. Like, oh, Zip. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just nah, didn't feel like it. I like that I low-key get those comments. Oh, the oh, Zip is oh, Zip Yes, me? I'm like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> 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 I'm like, thank you. It's crazy because like, it's like, when you do a naturally, people's like, oh, he got something done. I'm like, damn, bitch, I'm really doing yes. me. When, yes. when, when someone tells you like, you got, you had to do yes. something, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Right, right, right. I remember uh, people be like expect their gadget about my gastric bypass because like I, I guess some people didn't know, but I've talked about it. You like, have, but you don't have to make it every video. Exactly. You but I remember somebody saying. was like, "Um, she had gastric bypass. She is not losing." And it's like, okay, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> The girls think you're, they're doing something. Yeah, like, they love to call shit out. Yeah, like, I, I also I feel like since I've had the surgery, or whatever, bitches be lo- bitches love telling people that I got it. Like when somebody's like, "Oh my god, you look you're so good, good girl." Oh, she like, got, no, no, she got gastric bypass. She, such she, a she, hater. We hating ass bitches, bro. Hate, 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 wait, so since you got the gastric bypass, are you ever gonna do like loose? Are you gonna get like a BB? Are you yeah, gonna get I'm loose getting skin? Uh, first things first is tits. I gotta get boobs. Um, do a little tummy tuck situation. If I have loose skin on my arms and stuff, that I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm coming back and only thing I won't get because I have a butt, I won't get a BBO. I'll mm-hmm. probably just get like a back lift and like that like elevates and like tightens your skin or whatever and like pulls up your butt a little bit. Uh because BBLs just scared the f out of me. Yeah. Um but yeah, definitely tits, tummy tuck. I'm coming back looking like a supermodel. Yeah, I mean I got my titties removed. I used to have big ass titties. Really? Yes, I got them removed in October. But I was like, the only thing, I'm like, I lost 130 pounds, and you would think they'll go, they just got saggier, saggier, and, and saggier. And that's how my, that's how my boobs are doing. Like, they're getting saggier and saggier. Like, my boobs without bra. Because the skin is just, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, just, it's, it's stretched it's too stretches, much. stretches, yeah. So I got mine cut off in October. So I want to do, like, I want to do, boobs is priority, because I'll be able to, like, wear cuter shirts. I don't really care. Even now, like, my arms my have, arms. like, the little. I don't, sometimes my arms be pissing me the f*** off. I'm like, I feel like I'm about to fly I do away. love a sleeve now, though. Uh, bitch, I, bitch, I love me a sleeve. And that's I how I know I'm a sleeve. big bitch because when I, it's in the summertime, I don't know what to wear because I have yeah. a jacket, a long sleeve. Yes, I love a long sleeve. Yeah, I do. It's just so comforting. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? Oh, I and love then a also, And then I also love a tight black long sleeve because it gives like skinny arm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because when you're bigger, you wear like bigger clothes to make you look bigger. But when you're tight, yes, you're like, okay, I see yes, you bigger. Exact, exactly. So first things first is boobs. That's my top priority. And then I don't know if I'll, I probably won't get my butt done. Probably like tummy tuck lipo. That's bad. Yeah. That's cute. We and y'all are going to be sick as f- next year. As, I mean, soon as, I, as soon as that one year hit, my one year post op surgery dates is getting lined up. I'm dead. The girl, because the girls always have something to say. They hate. How yeah. do you do with your hate comments? Uh, because I, I, really, I, gi- come- I remember when the girls were coming for you on TikTok during that state of that. Situation. Yeah, it was just so dumb. It was dumb as f- I'm like, bitch, y'all bad wagon for a bitch y'all don't know. Yes, it was exactly. exactly. Like, I, and it's so crazy because th- things like this I want to speak about, but I'm like, you know, me just mind my business, just shut up. Yeah. But in the back scene, I'm just be like, y'all are so unserious because y'all all don't give a. F- Yes. Y'all just want something to talk about. None of y'all give a f- f- Y'all actually don't care about the trip. Y'all don't care about these girls. Y'all don't care about any of the situations. Everything's a thing piece and now. Then, and that's and, like and every everything's d- a thing piece now. And then also, I lined up 10 people that was making eight-part videos about me and asked them now what the f*** y'all was mad at. Nobody could tell me. What, what, the girls are sitting there and I talk. It's not, it's not serious. It should have been national news. Like, I really like this, but something was rubbing me off the wrong way. And this should... Shut up. You would have thought, like, I was, like, a domestic terrorist. No, it was crazy. <laughs> no, it was wild. I was just like... At this, when someone says something about you, at this day, just let them have it, girl. No, 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 no. You, that's that's how it is now. Let them like, have it. Let I regret even it. like addressing, addressing it, it. But like, you have to, because I feel like you're like me. Like sometimes you just have to let a bitch know. It's like yes. okay, when it starts, the girls keep poking and poking and poking. Like, okay, because at first, I, at first I wasn't gonna say anything, but then like. Uh, apparently, I stole a child in Zimbabwe. I like, I like robbed a bank in Dubai. Like these, all these fucking other narratives kept coming. I'm like, where the fuck is y'all getting this shit from? Like, I mean, she's only dates white men. Like, are we surprised? 
I've never dated anybody. Where are y'all, where are y'all pulling this information and, and that's from? Social media is, and that's how I got off because also too, like I'm too much of a real bitch and I always say that. Bro, I, I want I have like I the most you, things to say. Like I'm too much I, of a real bitch. I wanted, I, the things that I wanted to say during you, that. You just can't sometimes. You can't. And it's fine. Uh, but I regret giving them bitches a video even talking about the shit. But what right. is crazy? It should just give no comment, that, but that's like, what it needs one, to give now. Y'all don't it, what what like it was a slow news week obviously but during it it was I was obviously like really upset and like hurt because like you know how the internet gets like they'll use some kind of f- ass excuse of like accountability and it'll it'll turn to cyberbully in in like in, like an innocent. but it's like what does that accountability do for y'all it doesn't exactly. do anything. Even when people say apologize, apologize to whom? About what? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't I, change I, your I day. I was like, they wanted me to apologize, but I didn't know what for. Genuinely, still don't. <laughs> it's fine, girl. That's just social I was media. Bullshit. I'm like, but, but you know what? Every bad bitch has a scandal, girl. That's the social when media. When you have, when you, that's like the thing that comes with social media. When you want to get popular, you want to have followers. Like the girls that need something to talk about. Yeah, they're gonna, to they're gonna, girls. they're gonna. I just wish I would have did something crazier, like fuck girl man or something. Like you know, Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, like that's scandalous. I got, I got in trouble for going to a trip that all you bitches would have went on. <laughs> I'm de- wait. I feel like you'd be fab like on a cute dating show. Yes, I feel like that would be so good for you. I like honestly. if we do a Love Island situation or like something fab. And then also I, like I think I th- also think I would win the circle I, if I went on the circle. I've never watched it, but okay. I want to watch it. Okay, there was then, also I think I, I would I, think it was. I would win a dating show. Like what's the circle about? A circle. Okay, so they're basically like in separate apartments, and like you can either be yourself or like be a person, but it's about like social media type. Mm. And then basically like you talk to each other virtually, but you're in the same building, but you never see the person's real face until they get eliminated or something. Oh, that's so cool. So you have to like like basically like make friends virtually, and then like climb your way to the top. Oh, that's fab. Yeah, yeah. no, you would eat on a situation like that. Yeah. And also, I, you know what I always wanted to go on growing up? Are you the one? I've never watched it. Really? That used to be my show. Y'all, MTV, bring back Are You The One. Are You The One was the best show ever. But I feel like I would eat on a dating show. No, it would be, am- be, be amazing. But also, I feel like, hmm, I feel like would I be able to connect with the... I don't know if the boys... Because you know my personality is a little, like, abrasive sometimes, and it's kind of aggressive. So, like, I don't know if any of the boys would be able to handle me on a dating show. I feel like that's what we need, though, on a dating show. Yeah. It's I too, feel like I'd be you, too real, we, though. You see the girls be trying to be so cute. No, we need a real bitch. Yeah, a real bitch on a dating like show. Because that's the way actually is found. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be giving, like, the inside tea, like, in the confessional. Like, so actually, last night, Josh you know you and Katie... Have, you, def- don't have, you don't have your phone for, like, two, three months. I know, bro. And also, I'll be... First of all, like, for some reason... <laughs> This is this is obviously because I'm a good person, but people trust me so much. Like people like love telling me information. Like Same. I am a vault of tea. Same. Like but I, I don't have, spill it though. I just like yeah, it for yeah, my yeah. own knowledge. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So like I'm always constantly getting. I have so many people's tea that they would never know that I had it. So like I know on the show everybody would be like telling me all the business. Like, and I would be able to, I would just be able to play the boys and like get because you know like. They probably wouldn't know me from social media, so like they probably think like I genuinely like like them, and like they wouldn't know that like it was all like a bit, and that I was like being fake. No, as it's f- given a situation, you see yeah. like everybody from a different parts of the world, bitch. Yes. Given a situation, like three people re- representing America. Do you have three people from here? It needs to Wait, give. Wait, hold on. You need trademark days, girl. You one thing about me, I come up with show concepts, ideas like No Day Tomorrow, but bitch, I'll be fine. That definitely sounds like something Netflix would be but, interested in. Bitch, girl, it gives all around the world. Yeah. So now we're gonna hop into my other favorite segment uh-huh. called Fanitas Fan. Fictions, where our calls will call in, and you know, I put you up. I put your name up yesterday, so they can call and ask us questions. You can answer my pussy color phone. This is so cute. Hey, Fanita and Denzel. Um, my name is Olivier. Um, I'm a 20 year old college student, and my question is, how do you guys? How did you guys get rid of the fear or conquer the fear of trying something new? I want to do a lot of things in life. I have a lot of goals, but. I sometimes I feel like I hold myself back a lot mm. because of failing or fearing of failing. So how do you guys conquer the the fear of failing or not trying to hold yourself back from doing something? Mm. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna fail. That's just life. Like you're going to Only fail. Only successful people fail. Yeah, yeah, ex- exactly, exactly. Like you're like, gonna literally. fail. Like I feel like for me, is I've always been the type of person that like if I I'm so impulsive. If I have an idea, I'm gonna do it. Like if I'm like, me. yeah. If I'm me. like, mm, I want to do this, and like I don't really care about the outcome. It's just I, I do a lot of things just for the f- memory. Mm-hmm. A lot of things for the plot to to <laughs> elevate, yeah, to push my push my life story forward. Uh-huh. Like a lot of it is just like side quests. But I feel like for me is like you have to understand that you're gonna fail. Not everything you want to do is gonna work out, but the shit that you do try, something will land, something will stick. 
Yeah, me personally, I've never had the fear of failing. Because I feel like Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we're all meant to fail. Yeah, I, like, if I, you're I really meant to be that bitch, you have to fail. I've just seen that secondhand, like, yeah. from my mother. So I'm just always doing, like, if you have a fear of something, then that means you should be doing that thing. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're scared to do something, like, some you people... You should do it. Yeah, if you're scared to do something, you should do it, because that's, that's what's your told you back. I feel like that's your subconscious. subconscious. Yeah, that's yeah. your subconscious. Like, if there's a hobby or something that you're putting off to do, or you're, you think that you won't be good at it, do that shit, because that's what's going to change the situation for the mm -hmm. better make you a better person and yeah so I feel like just do that just do it because if yeah. you're not going to do it you're going to keep thinking 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 and have regrets we don't want to have regrets and then it's also like life is so short not to just try shit too short like you too just got to try shit like life is about just f***ing trying shit yes. like obviously everything that I did I wanted to be a f***ing nurse at one point I wanted to be OBGYN like <laughs> so you just got to try shit Girl, I All wanted right. to deliver babies uh, next caller hello so, um, I've been a longtime fan of you, Denzel, and, like, I'm really oh. proud of you for your um, fashion line that you put out. The, mm -hmm. That red and white fur coat is absolutely to die for. But what was it like finally getting a show at New York Fashion Week? Like, how fulfilling was that for you? What did it feel like? Were you scared? Were you nervous? Like, what was that like? Oh, yeah, that's cute. It's cute. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so <laughs> I knew for a fact this year that I had to do something because mm -hmm. last year was just so crazy for me. And I've always wanted to do a show, but mm -hmm. I was like, is this one of those things where I'm sort of person, I'm tired of waiting to get a yes or waiting for mm -hmm. someone to discover me or waiting to make shit happen. So I just make shit happen myself. Mm -hmm. The show that I did in New York, I knew I wanted to do a show. I said, if I, if I want to start this, if I want to start 2023 off with a bang, I need to do my own show. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the show was good. It was everything more. It was a lot to put together because I did everything in 30 days. 30, did you put together a New York fashion show in 30 days? This show took me a week. That's a, so, so, 30 days. I literally, January 1st, I literally oh, have- Oh, I know you I didn't have, sleep. I, oh my gosh. I literally had Ricky's like, you've not been answering my calls. I'm like, girl, I've been- working yes like it was just like the first week of january I was like denzel something needs to change new york is happening in february i have to do it do mm -hmm. what i have to do um it's just something that i just want to do and i have to do it for myself like yes it's expensive and with the fashion industry there's so many politics and ins and outs mm -hmm. but um i just did it i was like we're gonna have a show during fashion mm -hmm. week bitch i'm gonna use what i know use what i have and do what i can do and also too, i feel like i always have to sell myself yeah and that's just always been in my career like with a manager or an agent, it's always like we see Denzel, but it's just always is. I like, I feel like for me, it's just always an extra. The girls, it's always an extra step. I always have to go the extra yeah. mile for girls to see me. But then these other bitches, they don't be doing nothing. They don't have nothing, That's and they exactly just get it. How I feel. and I feel like it's because I'm from New York and I have this like urban esque feel, and I'm very like real. And I will say that it is true too yeah. because like when I started like my social media, I was very New York, very da da da. But then I was like, you know what, my YouTube. Let me code switch a bit. Once I and once you switch, start code switching a little bit. Bitch, the numbers grew. Yeah, because that's, so how, that's, that's exactly how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. Is that I, I feel like one, I'm finally starting to get like recognition, like for real, for real. But it's also it's like I've like just been that bitch for so long, and I feel like for me, same with you. Like I'm always having to sell myself. I'm always having to pitch myself. It's like it's I'm always having to prove that like prove, I can do I can something, do right? something, and it's f***ing annoying. This is annoying. The f I still do with the, uh, uh, to this day. Yeah, me too. And I'm just like this shit is annoying. That's I'm like at the end of the day, I'm just gonna do shit myself. Mm -hmm. Wow, da, da, da. I'm just gonna do it myself because at the end of the day, I'm not waiting for someone. I'm not waiting to be picked. I'm not. I'm I'm not mm -hmm. doing that shit no more because I'm gonna keep waiting and waiting and, and then, waiting and, and then waiting. And it's like you get that satisfaction after the fact when everything goes good and like the shit comes out fab. The people that said no, uh. me on my show, girl, just like oh my gosh, yes, and yes. That, that was a show. Just it was, it was. It, I'm happy it was my first mm -hmm. show, but like a lot of people don't debut. Do you like feel that. like the? Uh, do you feel like the fashion industry is like clicky? It's very clicky. And I always say that too. I feel like I still not accept it. It's fine. I'm still very much so brand new, mm -hmm. but it's just all about politics. It's all about who you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's just everything in life is clicky when, yeah. it, when it comes to every profession. Music is clicky. Fashion. You smell good. What is that? Thank you. It's Byredo. And that's out of my tax bracket. I never heard I of it. I think it is. It's Fab. I don't say which one because I don't want the bitches smelling like me, but yeah. I don't like telling people that I wear I don't either. either. People say, I like Fab girls don't gatekeep, but this Fab girl does. Yeah. Especially when it no, comes I to 100% gatekeep. I don't want you bitches like me. And I don't want y'all, like, everybody should have their own signature scent. Right. Like, I feel like I don't want y'all smelling like me. That's what everyone did with um, Le Labo, the Santa 33. Mm. Loved it, but bitch, I don't want. Um, Santa 33. Oh, <laughs> love it. Bitch. Damn. Because I do that to people now. So <laughs> That's why I remember uh, I remember a girl told me she smelled good. Or she told me, you know, she told me I smelled good or whatever. She's like, mm -hmm. oh my God, what is that? And I was like, it's just like three different perfumes. Like I really can't even like, I just like mix and match. Yes. Like, come on. I mix and match. Baccarat Beauty. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Girl, is it bad that I like my teacher? Like my professor? Like I want to. Is it bad that you want to. Your professor? 
She's just a teacher. That's different. No, she's a she's a t- she she's a teacher. Not for nothing. If it's a professor, it's fine. Yeah. Bitch, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have always wanted that Aria like, yeah, fantasy yeah. and pretty little th- pretty little Arias. I think that's how in college. The yeah, high school in college. Shit, <sighs> but also, if she's like 18 and like the professor's 40, that's like. That's weird. Yeah. But if she's like, you know what I'm saying? If she's giving like almost graduated, like grad student, yeah. professor. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Bitch, I, I always say this because I'm not a girl, but I, 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 no, I'm not going to say it. No, say it. <laughs> I always said like, Okay, so like when I was in like uh, when I was like a senior in high school, I was a fine ass teacher. Mm-hmm. I said, "Bitch, if I was a bitch, it would have been on a popper, bitch." <laughs> 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 Damn, boost. Say now you can't do that. Like no, no, no. Now it's a different situation. Yeah. Even now, I was like, "Oh my gosh." I'm not gonna lie. If I I didn't have any hot teachers, oh my teachers all, so fine. No, if I, I didn't have any hot teachers in my school, that I would have. But I definitely. But I would have been the type to keep my mouth shut. You can answer the phone. Hey, Samita. First off, I want to say, girl, I love you. I love. Your podcast, late, whenever I'm feeling sad, they make me so happy. My name's Anaya, and next up, the question that I want to ask is that if you could go anywhere with anyone, where would you want to go? Thank you. Love you, girl. Love you. <laughs> if I could go anywhere right now with Man. anyone, I would go to Bali with my best friend. That's it? Bitch, pick something exotic. Pick a man. Pick a... Bali's a bar- not exotic? Bali with your best friend? Ugh. I, feel, I was hoping for something it's, juicy, bitch. Like what? I've no, never been bo- out the country, Denzel. Oh. Uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. Body, 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 I, 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 I thought, like Dubai with my best friend? Like, no, I thought you was going to say like an ex- a body, body skew, but I thought he was going to say something exotic with like a man or something. Like I would a love a vacation. Situation. You know? Yeah. But I wasn't expecting body with my best friend. I'm like, girl. I mean. I mean no, no, no. Where would you go, Denzel? I don't know. Or Tokyo. Tokyo sounds fun. I want to go to Tokyo, but I need to go to Tokyo with a tour guide. That's the one. That yeah. I, that's the only place that girl I need to have a tour guide. I wouldn't mind Bora Bora. Ooh. And it would be a situation. Who would I go with? It would have to be with like the man of my dreams. Mm-hmm. I don't have no man of my dreams. If there was. One. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't have a man right now. So like. Yeah. But best several. friend Bali is fine. Yeah. This Bali is cute. cheap too. It's exactly. The flight. It's the flight. It's the flight. It's the flight. But I do like, I do anywhere tropical like the Maldives. I love a Fiji. That'd be fab. Do you have your passport? Yeah. Why don't you just, why, you should take like a cute like weekend trip to like Mexico. I was supposed to go to Mexico right before I had my surgery. Or no, after I had my surgeries, but I didn't go. I was supposed to go to Cancun. Um, Cancun. And then I was supposed to go, I want to go again. Or I, again, I've never been, but like I'm planning it. Mm. I think like the rest of this year, I might do Australia in December and like stay for a little bit. I haven't decided yet. I don't uh, know. Australia's cute. I was going to go, but I need to go with somebody because they're heavily racist there. Really? Yeah, one of my one of my friends lives in Australia. He lives in like a mansion, a little work house. Um, like Melbourne, Sydney. Do you know where? He lives in Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cute. Yeah. Okay. You can answer the last call. It's gonna be a last caller. Medina! Medina! I love you. I love you too. Denzel, I love you. Anyways, let me stop screaming. Um, how did you guys meet? Um, I'm so this is so iconic. You guys are iconic. I love y'all. Oh, this is a rubbish, by the way. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, babe. This is cute. You know what's actually funny about Denzel? Denzel, again, is like very bougie. So I remember, I don't know if you remember when we met, because I remember exactly when we met. Mm. So mind you, me and Denzel, Denzel, me and him were mutuals on TikTok, and like we would talk, and then we would talk about like me moving to LA. Like we were super cool over DMs. It was at Stassi Baby's, that boob tape event, when I moved here, like, last August. Mm -hmm. You were there, and you are like, floating through the crowd like you were on skates, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, giving a peek here, giving a peek there. That's so me. Like, and then I remember, like, like running up to you and being like, oh, my God, Denzel! And you're like, hi, side hug. And I said, hmm, weird vibes. I said, but you know it's so crazy because you said because I, I remember you talking about after. But bitch, that's me. Like, that's like, I, I didn't know that was like. Yeah, you, you, you yeah. didn't know. But that's me. It's like, oh my God, hi. Like, I, I never give too much. Yeah, he didn't give anything. <laughs> <laughs> he he like, gave, it gave that. I was a stranger. No, like, it did I do. I said, oh my like, God, hey girl. No, no, you said, oh my God, hi. Hi. And then just keep yeah, pushing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I thought we'd like conversate a little bit or something. Yeah, but I feel like that's just how I am. Like, I didn't know you were like, because like, I was like, am I, am, no, I like, am, am I misreading no, things? No, no. That's just how I am. People say that, but then like, obviously we talk more and I'm like, oh my God, hey girl. Yeah. But that's just, that's just, yeah, that's just the alpha stage. Yeah. So I thought like Denzel didn't like me and I was like, oh my God. Like, I don't hate I was like, anyone. oh my God. Like Denzel's like one of those influencers. I like, we literally talk over DMs. And I was so confused. Cute. No, but I get that a lot, but that's just like, that's just me to everybody. But yeah, like Denzel, like, he has 
I just walk the place. I, I never say too much, especially when we're out and about. Like, even if I talk to DMs, I'm like, oh my God, hey, because Zach said the same thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, I'm like, oh, I feel like we talked about it at Larry's birthday party. Oh, yeah, because people are like, oh my God, like, I don't think you like me. It's like, I don't know people enough not to like them. Mm-hmm. I don't hate or dislike anyone. I'm not that yeah. type of bitch. That's, I feel like that's, I don't dislike anyone. Yeah. I just, if I don't. Which I don't but with, like but I'm the type of like if I like know you I'm like and then I was also like you know what I'm saying I've been seeing you since I've been like in like middle school high school mm-hmm. growing mm-hmm. up or whatever so like meeting you is like really incredible for me so like yeah. I, I get like really excited when I like excited to be somebody yeah. but I felt like the biggest groupie I was like oh I guess we're not like <laughs> I guess no, we're not and cool and like just that. for me to be sitting here yeah on po- a, a podcast a year debut. later almost a year later yeah, yeah almost a year later because yeah. you, you was with Asia no yeah I was with Asia yeah 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 because I know Asia because Asia used to work with Sweetie mm-hmm. yeah period now we're gonna move on to what would you do for a hundred million dollars because this does it sound familiar to you because you played it six years ago with Ricky I know <laughs> let's do it all right Denzel you can pull first <laughs> Would you eat a bowl of wet dog food for a hundred million? Absolutely. I would. Yeah, that that was easy. That was uh, too easy. Not for me. Really? Yeah, I would. I, I would I, eat this... it with a fork and knife. I would eat three cans of wet dog food for a hundred million dollars. Would you be able to not use the internet for two or three years for a hundred million dollars? No. Use the internet? Not use it for three years? No, there's no way. I won't make any money. But. In three years, I'll have 100 million. I, I, I could not. Like, that's the... My life revolves around the internet. I could not. I could. Bitch. Where would you go? Let me tell you something. I you could, can't make calls without internet. It's fine. Girl, you don't need phone. You don't need internet for calls. As long as I have a phone to call somebody, I am totally fine. I don't need to be on social media. Bitch, y'all see me on social media when I have this $100 million. Oh, this is easy. I'm not an internet girl like that. No, I'm an internet girl. Oh, yeah, no. I I'm fine. I, I could give two f- about what y'all doing online. I would okay. be very happy with my $100 million. After my two, three years. Would you be able to start an OnlyFans and show full hole no, and have videos no. of you getting railed no. for $100 million? No. Bitch, I would ever do that for a billion. I'm so sorry. I would do it for $100 million. I would it. I would. Me personally. After, after I have $100 million. I'm a moral get, type bitch. Not saying the girls who do like, that now for quick change no. don't have morals, okay. but me is different. Okay, I understand that, but I feel like... Mm-mm. I feel like I would like obviously I wouldn't start OnlyFans because of the, the same reason you would, but like for a hundred million at that point, what more do I need? Like I don't give a f- if y'all see my pussy ass goddamn inside my G spot. Y'all could y'all could I, can, I, I, I would put a fucking no. I would put a f- microscope in my and pussy someone quote, and record. Always, no, then always, someone I don't always give a f- your shit. Like remember when you did this? Pull yes, yes, yes. No. I have a, you remember this? And I'll slap a hundred million dollars at the camera. You remember that? No. A ten ten uh, bands uh, at your face. I will slap you across the face with a stack. I'm, I do not care. <laughs> I'm such I a do bitch. Not I care. can never. No, I don't I'm, care. I'm, I'm so proud of who demands respect more than money. So I definitely won't be doing that. No, but I would I would literally yeah. put, a, put a, like I would record the inside of my vagina for hundred million dollars. I'd care. love to hear that. Yeah, I would show like I would let twelve guys f- me in the video for hundred million dollars. Oh, okay. I would I, 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 I don't care. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Uh, would you live with your ex for fifteen years for hundred million? No, I don't have an ex, but no. Um fifteen years is a bit of stretch. I mean, yes. <laughs> what? I don't have an ex, I have an ex situation. You would live with them for 15 years? Bitch, they didn't say what well, house. It can give you in the East Wing. I am in the West. Yes. That's true. Girl. We all buy a condo. You get an yeah, apartment. Well, I get an apartment. You, yes. That's true. I have a house. have a back house. 15 years. 100 million. 100 million can go by real fast. I'm never going to lie. Do you think so? For me, well. You bitch, are I, rich, bitch. <laughs> bitch, 100 million, girl. <laughs> Woof. 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 My nipples <laughs> hard, girl. Um, How quickly do you think you spend a million dollars? In a day. Mm-hmm. A million like dollars be, is nothing. I was gonna say, I, really, I feel like it'd be really easy to spend a million dollars in a day. A million dollars is nothing. Yeah. Ten million. Mm. Would you go to jail for one year for a crime you did not commit for hundred million dollars? No. no. No, I would never go. No, never. Girl, I they am can not. Have a, this. I cannot be a jailbird, bro. Let me let me see the last one. Let me see. Would you get? Ra- <laughs> would you rather get f- by a horse, a cow, and a sheep, or let your mom die for hundred million? Either on you choose to get hundred million. Um. Oh, my mom's already dead, so I guess I automatically get the hundred million. Oh my god! Um, Yay! She died for a good cause. Okay, um, I'm not letting my mother die. So, uh, what are you letting f- you? I think a sheep. I don't. I don't think sheep have genitals like that, right? Uh, yeah, but I don't think a sheep would have like a big genital. It's not giving a horse. Bitch. Yeah, it's not giving a horse. It's definitely not giving a cow. Okay, that's weird. So, what I found out is that Denzel will not do anything for money. Girl, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, we always You're have better these than things. me. I'm not that girl. If, if it's something that requires too much of me. Yeah. I do not even have some brand new, girl. It's 
closing time. It's closing time. This was definitely a fun time. I'm so glad you came on. Yes, this is my podcast debut. Yeah. Do, what, what do you? What it is, definitely stops here. Okay. Period. <laughs> this is one night only. The yes, only time y'all ever see only. Denzel yeah, on the podcast. Know. I know. I just don't. Yeah. Tell the people what you have upcoming and where they can find you. You can find me on my socials at Denzel Dion. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you're not going to say Noid? Go cops from Noid? But... No, it's fine. Okay. It's he doesn't fine. need you guys to buy. <laughs> he, he, doesn't, he doesn't want the Gen Z dollar. No, but I loved, <laughs> I loved being on Bottoms Up. This was definitely a time. Thank you. And I feel like I'm going to be like the most fab guest. No, I'm of like, course. I'm like, we're like going back and forth. I'm like asking questions, asking me questions. I feel like and we have also, a guest And also, I feel like here. we're like the same person in different fonts. We your are. Future, your fu- we, even though we're the same age, you're future me. We are the same age. Isn't that crazy? People think I'm old because the bitch has been doing this yeah, for a minute. Like you carry yourself like I'm old, um, right? Mer- 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 wait, Meryl Street from like the Devil Wears Prada. It's like the vibe. That's the I love energy. That. That's the compliment. <laughs> that's I love the it. energy. I love it. Because I say when I say I'm 25, you're like 25. I thought you were like 29, 30. I'm like, hold on. But yeah, 30 is not even old. But yeah, I hope to be where you are. In like the next two I hope years. Your father. Oh my god, that's such a cut thing to say. You know, I'm a cutty bitch. And you know, it's been me, your favorite fab guest, Fanita. And you can find me on all platforms at Fanita because I have my first name as my stuff. And oh, then, she's yeah. official. She's when official. the names change, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you know, you can find me anywhere at Fanita. Make sure you watch the rest of my podcast. I've been giving y'all bangers, back to back hits. Make sure you subscribe to the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel. Like, comment, and tell me your favorite part about this episode. Tell me what you love about Denzel. Tell me if my tics look great. And I will see you guys on another episode next week. Bye.